Well, welcome back, everyone. Now joined by Stephen and James from the El Barrio Lions Club. How are y'all doing this morning? Great, great, great. Glad to be alive. Hey, well, we're glad to have y'all on this morning. Of course, you know, Lions Club. I mean, everyone knows Lions Club. You guys are always doing some great things out in the community. So you guys are from the El Barrio Lions Club. So before we even get to the event you want to talk about today, just tell us a little bit about your organization and who you are for maybe people who don't know. Okay, well, uh, this is our third year. Um, as El Barrio Lion Club, of course, we're attached to the larger uh, Lions Clubs International. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we started this that last time, the first year. Right. And we've been able to go the last three years. We, we do a lot with uh, Snack Pack for Kids and, and stuff like that, but we just love to serve. Definitely, yeah. Uh, recently, even us uh, providing assistance during the wildfires up in uh, Fritch and, oh, yeah. and, and during the, the that was a really tra tragic time, so we were able Definitely. to really, really uh, join our fellow Lions clubs uh, throughout the Texas Panhandle yep. and come together and, and provide meals for our fellow uh, citizens. Yeah, well, that's a great thing for sure. Of course, you know, doing great work in the community, but also, you know, like to have some fun every once in a while, right? And we're, yes. we're making our way through April here. May's right around the corner, and that means Cinco de Mayo is around the corner. And yes. It sounds like you guys have a great celebration lined up for that. Can you tell us always, what to expect? Always, yes. Well, uh, like you said, we, li we like to have fun, you know, work hard, play hard. Um, that first year, you know, we really wanted something that was was ours. Our, you know, El Barrio Lions Club. You know, every you you see the pancake breakfast and right. and certain things like that. And so we, like I said, we thought what was what's better than a single mile celebration to to show our cultural our cultural pride mm -hmm. and uh, um, and get that started. And so yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a good time for sure. So what can people expect if they come out to this celebration? What is it going to be like? What can they, you know, where are they going to find when they come to this celebration? Well, if, if you haven't been before, the major thing is is your hot dogs and hamburgers are, are free. You know, we give away uh, uh, free shirts. We really wanted to feed the community. That mm -hmm. was a major thing, um, you know, and but that first year we got great support from Amarillo uh, Resources and Services, and right. it's just grown every year. And so, you know, you've got, you've got the fire department, you've got the library. Um, James, help me, who, who else do we have? Um, we have, uh, animal, well, you have animal welfare and management yes, that's sir. also gonna be out there while so. Yeah. Um, looking forward to uh, more people that are gonna be coming out, provide uh, resources for the community that day. Yeah. Now the event um, kicks off at noon, but prior to the event is the annual Cinco de Mile Parade, which will take place okay down Arthur Street um, that happens every um, Cinco de Mayo weekend on Saturday. Right. And now after the parade, then our event will begin at, at noon. So just be prepared to um, expect a great celebration um, with, uh, with our fellow, with our fellow uh, community members mm -hmm. and our um, fellow Lions. Yeah, and like you're saying, it's it's a Cinco de Mayo weekend because the fifth yeah. of May is going to be on a Sunday. Yes. This year, yeah. so the celebration is going to be on Saturday, right? Yes, the sir. Fourth, so it's still Cinco de Mayo, but yeah, it's you know, I guess Cuatro de Mayo is it? Is it the, I don't know <laughs> that, if you want to that, rename no, the whole that, celebration. That's perfect. That's Cinco perfect. de Mayo weekend, I guess. So that's yeah. one of the important. That's why I call it a celebration. You know, exactly. we're, you know, we're just we're just celebrating the yeah. day, and uh, you know, of course. Like you said, we're we're gonna have uh, uh, the 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 parade comes back around to the park. Okay. The individuals that hold the parade, uh, Vicente Soto and uh, Liz uh, uh, Rascon, mm -hmm. reached out to us, and we're actually combining our our efforts, our our parties, awesome. and so we're we're gonna have uh, folks with horses out there where of course okay. we have the dancers that everybody loves every year mm -hmm. and so yeah it's a great time i mean it sounds like a great time for sure and in the meantime before we get to of course the cinco de mayo where can people go online to learn a little more about the el barrio lions club um you can go to facebook.com and el barrio lions club it's facebook.com slash el barrio lions club um if you need to reach us el barrio lions club at uh gmail.com mm -hmm. is is a email that everybody all the officers get and we'll get right back to you all right awesome well steven james thanks for coming and talking Thank to you us so this much morning. and uh we encourage the community to come out on uh uh, to celebrate Cinco de Mayo on May the 4th. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Sounds you. like it'll be a good time for sure. So that's saying is head out Cinco de Mayo. It's going to be a good time in El Barrio. So going to be a good time. Thank you guys for talking to us today.